All right, let's talk about clock faces. Basically, at this point, you can be as creative as you want. Um, you're going to have to be able to identify time somehow. I made a clock uh, clock face that's completely blank, and just just testing to put the, the hands on, see how things work. I can't read a thing on it. So you need to have numbers, um, and it's good to remember um, to put your numbers in in, in order uh, wherever you think you want to have up down. The most important numbers you're probably going to want to have are the are the quarter numbers. 12, 3, 6, and 9. If you want to get real fancy and use a 24-hour clock, you could do 12, 3, 6, 9, and then you could do, uh, what is that, 15, 18, 21, and then we'll put a 24 into there if you want. Um, but uh, you can be creative however you want. So actually what you're seeing right now is what one of the clock faces looks like that we made um, that we actually just found online. So we went to clock, I searched clock face templates, and these are the different templates we found. And that was one of them that we really liked. Actually, if you look here, um, I forgot where it went, but it was one of those on here. You can look for those and then save your image on Google Classroom in a folder, maybe for clock faces or images or something. Have your stuff organized so it's easy to find stuff. Um, you can find a clock face, or you can find a clock face and then add to it, um, or you can make your own. Let me just show you another um, possibility. So I went on to Adobe Spark, and I created this clock face, real simple. I have the 12, 3, 6, and 9, so I can know my quarter times. I didn't want to put anything else on it because I want it to look real simple. And I lined it up, I think, pretty good that when I have the centerpiece where the hands are going to come through, come out, it's going to be where that mouth is. So that's an option that you can do. Um, you could also take one of these clock faces and let's say you like this one, right? Um, so I'm going to take this clock face, I'm going to let it open and I'm going to download it and I can use this one as uh, a piece for me. Uh, save image as. And then what I'm going to do is I can actually make another Adobe Spark file and I can use this clock face and I can add what I want onto it. So your clock face can have anything you want on it. You can have a lot of creative stuff if you'd like or you can keep it really simple um, but it's totally up to you because it's your clock. But know that you can go in here and you can create these things and add more stuff. Now if I want to use uh, this file um, I can go here to download and I can download this image and I'm just going to save it as a JPEG. Uh, JPEG seem to look a lot better uh, when we're putting them onto Google Classroom. The one thing I would have done differently, taking a little bit more time, and you would probably want to do this before you would send yours, get this as a black and white image um, so it's easy to um, look at and put onto, um, put onto the uh, Dremel. So now I can take this image that I created and I can put that onto my image here. I can just go ahead and import file. And I don't know if it's finished downloading yet, but um, I can definitely take this stuff and I can put it into, um, into the piece. So I'm just gonna use this as an example. Take my file, whatever file it is that I have, and I can continue by downloading that file on here and then center it and line it up as best as I can onto the piece of wood that I've already uh, put on there. So here I can take this piece and I can start to make it bigger uh, so it fits properly and adjust it. Of course, I'm gonna have to re-image uh, my, uh, my piece, but I can definitely make this, even though it's small, I can enlarge it. Just be aware that some small images, when you start to enlarge them, get blurry and they don't turn out as well. This one I think is gonna be okay, but you can fill it out as big as you can, okay? And remember, you wanna keep a little bit of space around the edge of your clock so that you're, um, uh, you're not going right off the edge and everything will work perfectly fine for the uh, machine when you start running the laser. So that's how you're gonna be dealing with your clock faces and adding them on when you're ready. Um, and getting them to look, you know, you, your own personal piece to that, to that clock face.